I am Meskulius from Omnia, Finland. And this next case uh, shows how to create in enriched learning resources by gradation. So how alongside teaching and other daily duties, how the teacher is to create and develop new digital learning resources. And usually it makes sense to take small steps, uh, step by step, small projects uh, so that you can combine them later on into bigger uh, entities. This case comes from Omnia, Finland. So there are three steps in, in this case. The first phase was that the teacher uh, wanted to get uh, instructional videos for learning the use of restaurant equipment for her um, restaurant and catering students and um, the topics were chosen small student teams formed and those uh, wrote some manuscripts for very short let's say one minute two minute videos and shot them with mobile devices uh, ipads and their own mobile phones so and um, after that, teacher assessed the quality and approved those, and then the videos were uploaded to YouTube. And YouTube, uh, for the first, it takes care of their encoding, and for the second, it shows the version that suits the bandwidth and the device of the viewer, and for the third, it enables easy embedding and it's very versatile to use in, in different uh, contexts. So YouTube was uh, the choice number one. Also, the uh, Institute doesn't have to take care of the, the uh, quantity of the uh, video uh, video data. So that's, that's why they were there and um, they were uploaded uh, to YouTube under uh, a Creative Commons license. And later on, they were to be uh, accessed on Moodle. So here is an example, a uh, Finnish speaking um, video made by students, how to uh, use the espresso machine. This video uh, was uh, done uh, on mobile devices and with uh, Apple iMovie editing and then uploaded to YouTube. And uh, then it was linked and embedded into Moodle and this kind of a text and module based learning management system. It suits truly many learners, but actually not all. It uh, sort of, it's an abstract way. And especially some years ago when this was done, uh, this wasn't uh, very uh, uh, familiar to the students. So we started to think um, as learning usually takes place in practical settings, how to bring the feeling of an actual working place to LMS. Then we wanted to create a visual representation online and we already had the videos. And um, in order to enrich those videos and their use, we wanted to create a, uh, a more sort of um, practical feeling of, of, of the actual restaurant at the campus where the students do their work-based learning. So we decided to use a service called thingling.com. We took a background image for the videos and uh, we pasted those, um, that background image and those videos to thinglink. And here, let's open this one. So here you can see the background image of the actual restaurant. And when I uh, move my mouse cursor above the image, you see the hotspots. And actually now each of those videos are exactly uh, at the specific place that they are uh, um, telling about. So when I move my cursor to the uh, espresso machine that's cleaning the machine or that's how to make a cappuccino let's take that one 
so in this this way um the student can see exactly uh, those videos that uh, belong to certain equipment there we were very satisfied with the result as such but then we thought that okay uh, perhaps um, these online resources are not sufficient uh, especially during these hybrid times when students are learning both online and on site so we went to uh, went forward to phase three and we pasted small QR codes uh, to the actual restaurant and um, those codes linked to the videos that are attached to the same equipment as in the restaurant. So um, here you can see a QR code and small just uh, three, four centimeters width and height small uh, yeah students are not allowed to have their mobile phones during their shift in the restaurant but uh, we decided that okay let's allow them to uh, have their mobile phones for 15 minutes before their shift if they need to check the instructions again so uh, they can uh, have those QR codes uh, and watch the videos and then be more sure about what they are to do and mostly those videos are silent in order not to disturb uh, clients and uh, other working in the restaurant so these were the three phases that uh, ensured that the overall project was uh, within reach for the students during all the everyday activities sharing it to three work packages thank you